Okay, y'all, I'm back. I don't know, the camera just cut out on me. I don't know what that was about. Anywho, um, as I was saying, I'm getting ready to uh, put the cover part back onto my fluorescent lighting. Uh, it pulled the, the uh, screw pulled out from the frame portion of the light a couple months ago, and I was trying to figure out how to get it back. So when I got up there and looked at where uh, the end that was hanging, I noticed that... Um, that was a screw, and then that was a uh, an anchor in the ceiling that had pulled out. It was one of those round corkscrew type anchors. I knew I couldn't go back with that unless I did a huge one. So I thought to myself, okay, I need a different type of screw in that wall, a different kind of anchor um, to put into uh, the ceiling. So what I knew would work because of my husband toggle board boat rather can you see that toggle boats okay so i went to lowe's and i bought a real simple it cost me like less than three dollars i bought a little pack of toggle boats and i knew that if i could find a way to get those toggle that toggle boat up to that ceiling it would anchor and support it now the only dilemma that i had is that on the uh, base of the lighting the screw hole was much smaller than, um, well, this is a screw. I'm going to show you what the screw that was in there that went to the light. Okay. All right. This is the size of the screw that was in there. Okay. That was holding that uh, other, uh, holding the anchor, the uh, frame in. That's the size of the screw, so that's what has to go through that okay now when I went to purchase the toggle boats I knew I needed one long enough that would go across that hole that had been left in there so this is the size screw that's with the toggle boat that I knew would fit okay so you see the difference in size of the screws okay so my dilemma now is how do I make that hole in that metal frame big enough to go so that this bolt will go through it okay so of course i thought bobby Howard showed me how to use um all kind of drill bits and whatever so i thought let me get the drill bits out so i found this drill bit here and let me show y'all just as a matter of tea a little just like i do with cooking okay i know that this size screw Okay, in order to drill a hole in something metal and to get that one in, I needed a drill bit. Let's see. So you measure, you kind of sort of compare the two. You see, I needed that drill bit to get that hole that big because remember now, the hole that was in that metal before was like this small. So you see, that's a big difference in size on those. Okay. So. Anyway, my trusty little drill. I love tools, y'all, just like I do cooking equipment. Okay, now this is a totally different type of support going into the wall. This is a support that had pulled out. And, of course, this was a screw I had to, you know, pull it out of the wall and take that screw out to see. But this is a support before. Now, this is going to, this, I've already put it in. I just decided I was going to share it with y'all. So now this is the um, support that's in there now. So, you know, when you put it in the hole and release it, put it in the hole, release it, and it comes across and supports like that. And, of course, you know, you have to have the screw in there and all this good stuff. So this screw had to go up through that metal support. And you have to screw that all the way up in there so it pulls this down so that you have that support system. So that's what I've done. Uh, I've already gotten the anchor in there. The toggle bolt is already up there. So I'm going to show you all what I just did. So the whole point of me show, especially ladies, I'm telling you because, you know, most ladies don't do this. I mean, we just don't. But I happen to be one of those ladies. I love working with my hands. If it's cooking, sewing, decorating, uh, woodworking. Now, plumbing, Some I can change the uh, handle. I can change out that little flushing uh, mechanism. I can change, I can put those little things that screw around the base of the toilet. I can do all that. I've never changed a toilet completely. 
where you have to flange it and all that. I've never tried to do that, but I'm sure I could if I tried or if I needed to or if I thought, well, I'm just going to do that today. I can paint. I can do all that kind of stuff because you guess why? My husband was a gadget person, and he was a mechanic. He was uh, an electrician. He could do all kinds of stuff. So when he do stuff around the house, he and I did a lot of stuff together. Sometimes I was like his sous chef. I'd hold the nails and hand him this, you know, hand me this size wrench or that size pipe or a socket, a hammer or a screwdriver, a Phillips head, whatever. So I paid attention to all those things when he was doing things. And at times, uh, I would just jump in there and do it myself. Wouldn't even ask him once I learned. And of course, when he became really, really sick and could not do a lot of things around the house, I would jump in and just start doing things. And over the years, I learned it pretty well. Now, the only thing that I don't, that I haven't tackled or really, really tried electricity, I have a very, very great respect for electricity. Now, my husband was an electrician, certified electrician uh, in the military for 30 years. He was a uh, electronic countermeasures, easy, all, all that kind of good stuff, so avionics. So he knew how to do all that stuff. And he passed those skills on to me to a degree. I did not get the, and I think the, the electricity part, I guess maybe the fear of getting electrocuted or shocked or whatever, because I've been shocked before. But, you know, for safety's sake, whenever you're working with electrical stuff, you just he always told Peggy, you can do it. Just turn the electricity off, and you're okay. I've never done it because nothing has ever arisen that I needed to do it. But I'm sure I could shut it down, and because uh, I've got some socket, you know, that where you plug your socket in with that little white piece that goes in there with the little holes in there. Those, I got a couple that need to be changed out, and I may just ever eventually get to it. So the whole bottom line on that, if you, I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. If you don't enjoy it, I got my girlfriends tell me right quick, no, I'm not doing that. I have no interest. I ain't doing it. I'm just not doing it. I will paint. I'll get out there, dig ditches, do whatever, because I enjoy doing those kind of things. So anyway... If you have someone, uh, if, if it's your husband, your boyfriend, your father, whoever, if they, if they have those expertise and offer to uh, share those with you, pay attention. Learn how to do those kind of things. Not only uh, is it gratifying and satisfying for me, it saves money because this little job I'm doing today, it will probably cost me 50 or $75, who knows, to have somebody uh, go get a toggle boat, uh, get up on the ladder, uh and, and put a screw in that hole and to fix it and drill a hole and do all that kind of stuff and put the cover back over. Or I could have bugged one of the boys to do it. It could have told them, but I like doing this stuff myself. So I just want to share this with you guys to let y'all see what I'm doing. So this is just one of those other things that I know how to do. Hold on just a minute, and I'm going to set the camera up to the ceiling so that you can see uh, the part that I've already secured the frame and I'll just show you what I've secured already. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, cover back over it and it's going to be a done deal in here for me. So hold on. Okay, here I go, y'all. I'm going to get up, up here and get ready to, uh, start just to put the frame back on. Got this piece here and the cover. So here I go. Let's turn around this way. I hope y'all can hear and see me. I hope this is a good shot. So, let's put that in. Let me see. Once I get that going, okay. Do this. Get that in. Oh, before I put the cover on, right there is why I had to secure that frame. To the seal, you can't really see it that well. But anyway, this part was hanging down to here. It was hanging on one end because that boat was pulled out. Remember that screw that I showed you? It was pulled completely out of the wall. So I had to just go back in there with a toggle boat and secure this frame right here. This is the frame. And of course, this is the cover. I love this fluorescent lighting because it gives me the best light in my kitchen. So what I got to do now... This is the end here. Got to slide it. Might take me a couple tries, y'all. It's almost like I'm doing this upside down. Oh, goody, it worked for the camera. So now all we got to do is screw this little end on. 
Now, No Rick was the one that reminded me. Well, he said, Grandma, your light's broken. So now when he comes by, I'm going to tell him, I fixed it, I fixed it. So now, my light is fixed. And really, it took me a good 30 minutes to get that, uh, get, well, it took me a few days to find the right size um, toggle book, but that's okay. That book, to actually fix this, it's a 30 minute job. I enjoy doing it. Got my light working again. It's not leaning down. I thought, I'm not going through the holidays with this light hanging down. Every time somebody walk in here, they're saying, oh, your light's broken. And it was not that big of a deal. It was just a matter of getting that in, secure it back to the ceiling, and then put the light cover back on there. So it's done. So again, um, the main thing here is that if you have the opportunity to learn those kind of skills from whomever, hey, just pay attention. And you'll see. So, voila, my light's fixed. Just another thing I wanted to share with you guys to let y'all know, hey, you never, ever know. You never know when these things are going to come in handy. Um, hope y'all got Christmas just about finished. I've got a few more things that I've got to do as far as uh, just picking up and doing little things. And this was one of the things that I had to do to uh, get things uh, like they should be was to uh, get that light fixed because it was driving me y'all so anywho I just wanted to drop in and show y'all that one little tidbit but seriously if you have those skills already wonderful you know how well it works so you don't have to depend on somebody else to do something that simple or if you have those skills to share please share them. and if you are ladies guys girls children kids whomever if someone offers those skills to you go ahead and pay attention because you never know when they'll come in handy to help you do something small save you a few dollars and plus that skill there i could teach it to someone else or i could you know somebody had that situation going on i could get up there and, and repair you know elderly person that couldn't do it or a person who just didn't know how to do it didn't feel comfortable with it so Anywho, y'all, I'm getting ready to wrap this little segment up, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. So, until I cook again, or find something else to work on, as my husband say, me and my piddling. Uh, and this time of year, I piddle a lot because I've gotten a lot of things out of place and pulled out. So, what I do is go ahead and if something needs repaired, something needs cleaning, I go ahead and take care of it while I got everything uh, in an uproar. Anywho. So anyway, uh, happy fixing up for the holidays. Uh, enjoy yourself. Cook yourself something good to eat tonight uh, for dinner. I don't know what I'm going to fix yet. I did video um, some things uh, earlier in the day. I'm going to try to get them together. Kylie and I went out. I had little Kylie. That's my little year and a half old one. I took her out. We, she spent the night with me, and uh, we had to drop Kareen off at work. So I decided... Let's stop and have breakfast. So Kylie and I stopped and had breakfast at uh, Burger King. So if I can get that video together, I will put it up for y'all. If not, it's going to be uh, whenever I cook again. So guys, go ahead and get yourself some lunch. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. And look, y'all, I got to catch up on some TV now. I've been missing my TV program. I'm going to go over here now, and I'm getting ready to watch um, The Ricky. Okay, so until I cook, fix up something, decorate, talk to y'all, whatever again. I'm going to say keep the prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down, especially during this holiday season. Keep everybody prayed up who have loved ones that they're going to be missing. Uh, and if you know of somebody that's like that, go ahead and uh, invite them over uh, during the holidays and uh, just to sort of help to fill that void. Because I'm telling you, to have a loved one missing during the holidays, that's a big, big, big void. And no matter how much of whatever is going on, that void is always going to be there one way or another. So until we meet again, I'm going to say toodaloo. Love you guys and thank y'all for tuning in.